All right, guys. Good morning. Dar Sizzle and Puddin coming at you this morning from our home waters on our flash boat here in Boynton Beach. And we just loaded up our Phytech cast net with some juicy fresh baits. Check this out. Nice way to start the morning. Heck yeah. Woo! That's a load of bait. All right, so this is my 10 foot cast net, 3 8 mono. Pretty awesome, like I said, from Phytech. And we just loaded the well with tons of, looks like thread fins mixed in here with pilchards. So we got nice thread fins. Oh, look at that. That's a beautiful snapper bait. Nice mixture of baits, plus some pilchards. Nice way to start the morning. Today, we're gonna to be doing some inshore fishing. And hopefully the goal is to do some shark fishing and end up catching a black tip shark. Good job, Dar Sizzle. Yeah, we haven't been here in Boynton for so long. It's, oh, look at all this bait, guys. Look at this. Looking good. There's been a lot of snook and tarpon around, too. So, uh, we're just, again, we haven't been here in a long time. This month's bait for Boynton is rare. Yeah, it is great. Look at this bird. That was cool. <laughs> oh, you just took that. All right, let's go get them. All right, guys. Caught that bait. Decided to do some regular fishing before we head over to do some shark fishing. And we got an outgoing tide. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. That's not good. I got a really light, light setup. And it looks like I just hooked a fish on my artificial, my DOA terrorized. Pretty sure it's a jack, but he's got this rod bent over. It would have been, if it's a tarpon, it would have jumped. But we're in an area where there should be tarpon as well. We have seen them, but no tarpon bite yet for us. Oh, I just saw him. It's a nice jack. First jack cravel I've caught in quite a while. It's been a minute since we've been uh, inshore saltwater fishing. We're doing a lot of offshore fishing these days. Oh, he inhaled that deal away. No, it didn't. Oh, there it is. All right, in the boat you come. We got fresh shark bait. That's how you do it. We got Vanita from the freezer, but now we got a fresh jack as well. So I will take that. And that's the DOA he ate, but let me get it out of his mouth. Nice. All right, there's the DOA that Jack ate. He's got a red chin and green back. All right, I'm gonna keep casting, see what else I can get in the boat. My bait's running. Yeah, it's over here, running. Let him eat it. Small bait, small fish. Let's go, let's go, let's Let go. Let it go. Stop. Let it go? Yeah. Fish just took my bait, tarpon just took my bait and dropped it. It's more than likely a tarpon. Oh. He's All right, guys. for a second, he's off. He's on, he's, he's on off. That one. Look at the other side. Over here? Yeah. Oh. It's getting whacked by a little fish. We got a little jet. We, we uh, changed up to some trolling. Those tarpon, the current died. And, and there was no tarpon bite. You can't, don't fish for tarpon unless there's a current um, or snook. And so we just went to our, one of our old school methods is trolling, waiting for the tide to come in. Sometimes you can pick up some nice little jacks like this. How you doing, Sizzle? Good. Little fish, lady fish. Ooh, a lady fish. Swordfish bait. <laughs> Woo, never been so excited for a lady fish. Watch that. Fish. Beautiful swordfish bait. That's a nice one, Sizzle. That's a nice one. We're gonna act like we know how to fish and just talk about sword fishing and making sword fish baits. And I know uh, like a couple people will swear by ladyfish as a good bait, particularly uh, Captain Brandon, Lunchbox, Captain Kill. All right, we got ladyfish, we got Jack in the boat, and the troll has just begun. So let's keep it up, get another species in the boat. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you what we caught a fish on every time we catch a fish. This is a Yuzuri 3DS. D uh, dives a little deeper than a, a crystal minnow. Suspending diver. Suspended diver, whatever, he's trolling oh. it. Oh, school of mullet right here. Anyway, this is one of Darcy's, this is probably Darcy's favorite. You guys call these crankbaits, I guess? I mean, that's yeah. more of a bass thing. I call it a lip diver, but this is the one. This is Darcy's favorite, orange belly, okay? All right, guys, we're setting up at the shark spot. We now got the incoming tide that we wanted for it. And I'm just using my Smith filet knife to slab off the side of the jack here. And it looks like he has a weird deformity going on right here on the top of his head. I don't know what that is. There's like something sticking out hmm. of his body there. It's hard, really weird. That's not normal. <laughs> nice. Anyhow, so yeah, just uh, cutting little slabs like this because we do have smaller sharks in shore. And again, we want to do a shark we catch a black tip shark and hopefully eat them as well. And we have usually smaller sharks inshore. So 
So that's probably a nice size bait, and we'll start with that and then use bigger baits and get different lines set up and all that good stuff. So first bait going out right now, fresh jack. And that boot, open that spool. He's oh, moving, he's light. moving to the very left. Very light, very light. Here we go. Nice. You gonna get that fish or spool? Money, I'm on <laughs> I believe he's hooked. Oh, that's a shark, all day. Look at the big holes in the water. That was quick. Whoa! Oh! Just broke me off. 40 pound leader. Get another bait right back out. <laughs> that was rigged for tarpon. Oh, just about to, yeah. I, I, we just, I was rigging up for the sharks and I just threw out that. I, I had on the line a 40 pound test and just a circle hook and just threw it out while we were waiting to rig up. So. I'm about rigged up, so let me show you what we do. Again, this is for inshore sharks or small sharks, spinners, and black tips. We just got a big, cheap barrel swivel. And this is like 250 pound. We use like 250, 200 to 400 pound mono for those. All right? So you can, I, gotta, I, gotta, I still gotta do that. I gotta crimp that, honey. Oh, okay. All right? Still and then we get to here. Yeah, go ahead. And we got, I got a 2-0 uh, crimp on this mono. And then we're using like a... a you're gonna use like an eight to a 10-0 circle hook. Done. This is like a four times strong or whatever, three times. You can, again, you can catch a lot of them on a regular circle hook, except as long as it's a light wire type. And uh, the sharks are gonna be real, a lot of times sharks are real sensitive to biting wire. You know, put, you know, put wire in your mouth and uh, you know, it's got that tinny taste and they don't like that either. So we have a lot of luck with this. And a lot of top guys, you know, you catch bigger sharks, you gotta use metal or cable or wire, heavy single strand at least. And a lot of guys tape will tape that up. Like Elliot will tape all that up. He'll Another barrel swivel, and then I do nylon coated wire for about four to five feet. Then I crimp it to a circle hook here, which I also cover with electrical tape because it covers up the metal. And sharks are very sensitive to signals, metal signals given off by metal in the water. So uh, I try to keep it as covered up as possible. And, and uh, all right, you gotta get to work here, I guess. Let's get lines back out. We gotta catch some fish. They're <laughs> chewing. Yes. Oh. See a jump way over there? Yeah. Well, it's a ladyfish. Yes. I said it. I'm like, ladyfish got your bait. How did that ladyfish <laughs> run for like a quarter mile? Jump like a tarpon. Yeah, that's what they call him. Poor man's tarpon. That was awesome. He might have jumped off. That was awesome. <laughs> Took my bait, left my hook. But you didn't even catch him. <laughs> I let him run forever. I'll be out there. And uh, I don't, we can't get a shark to bite, bro. It's a disaster. It's, yeah. It's bad. We stink. It's really bad. Except I don't know if that's bad luck that we like hooked that first shark or jumped that first shark, but nothing since. No. I think Darcy's just bad at fishing. Apparently. Every other time we come here to catch a shark, to catch and release, we can't, we catch one. The second we want to eat one, it's a different story. Shark for dinner. Keep at it. Stay diligent. Well, Papa, diligent. Puddin's gonna go hungry. Stay diligent. What the heck? Bait's there. I'm dropping it. Hold on. Drag's a little tight. He might have dropped it because of that. Let's go to light to no drag. So he swallows it, sets the hook. All right, that was literally the first official real bite of, real bite of a real fish, whether it was a shark or not, who knows in hours. So just left the bait out there. It looks like the bait is fully intact. Took a screaming run there for a second and the fish dropped it. So I just made it to the point where there's like no drag on here. Like it's almost like the bale is open. So that's kind of what you want for these inshore sharks. And we're using the ladder leader again because it seems like they might be leader shy on that heavy mono, which is pretty wild. All right, put it back in Rodney. That's Rodney, the rod holder that's gonna catch the fish. And then I'll pick it up and reel. All right. Back to waiting. It's on it. This is our lighter leader once again. 60 pound fluoro. I made a makeshift uh, shoulder cover, by the way, for the sun. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's 40 I'm pound gonna, fluoro, frankly. Is it 40 still? Yeah. Oh, I thought you said you are upgrading it. Okay. I did say that, Locking but. It up more. Please stay hooked. Please stay hooked. No. 
All right, we're back. Here's magic. I took off my shoulder thing and <laughs> it's still running. All right, here we go. We're gonna try this again. Super light drag. There he is. There he is. Shut. Cut me off. Get a little right back out. Picking it up again. Okay, sizzle. Huh? A little okay, sizzle. Catch him this time. I don't know. Catch him this time. He's a baby. The babies are delicious. That's what Darcy always says. Now we're trying to catch a black tip shaw. Hopefully we'll catch one, but let me tell you about sharks. You're allowed to keep sharks. If you watch Shark Week, you'll think that every shark is an endangered great white shark. That's not accurate. There's, ma there's many, many species of shark, most of which you can catch and eat if you want. Some have size regulations, or most have size regulations. We're trying to catch a black tip shark, which doesn't even have a size regulation. You only keep one for each per day if you want. So I can eat 365 black tip sharks this year if I like. One per person or two per vessel, whichever's left. Per day. Perfectly per day. legal and there's nothing wrong with it because they're plentiful here. A lot of people always say, oh, they're endangered in the seas of this. So NOAA and your local fishery council, whatever they're called, they do studies on how to keep the population sustainable. And they set the regulations based on that. It's based on science and facts and meetings and public hearings. And so don't give someone crap if they're catching a perfectly legal fish, because you probably don't have better science than the scientists that came up with it. And we're also not entertaining conspiracy theories about the creation of laws today either, about fishing laws. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you follow the laws. You don't bother people to follow the laws, whether they have 10 mahi or five mahi. We honestly probably have an overpopulation of black tips in this area. Like there's oh, quite I don't too know many. about that. There's, I don't know. There's a ton. There's a lot. There's a ton. Quite a few. There's no shortage, so we do like this once a year. We eat, we eat one black tip a year, and we do it for educational purposes for you guys. We usually do it during Shark Week, but uh, you know, just to stop some of the craziness about sharks. They're, they're perfectly fine to eat the proper species, and the proper conditions, and the proper amounts. It's fine. It's a fish, it's not a great white or a great hammerhead. You know, you can eat hammer. You know, you can, you can keep hammerheads too in federal waters. Frankly, honestly, you by are? the way, yeah, that's yeah. what Mark the Shark does we don't approve of, but he catches hammerheads and it's perfectly legal because he's in federal waters. So hopefully, maybe Darcy's will catch one today and this whole conversation will be relevant, but. Or maybe I won't and you will never see this conversation. You might never see this conversation. I may just be talking into the ether. The ether? Sizzle, put that thing away. What are you doing? What thing? You're, that thing, the badonkadonk. Can you give me your camera? <laughs> uh, all right, Sizzle, catch me fish. J-hook. J-hook. Swimming at the boat. Very light drag. Or he's off. But I feel like he's on there. Swimming right at us. That happens. Nope. He's off? Yep. Alright. Gotta hook him, so gotta hook him. Man. It's been free and it's out of stock. We're having some uh, phone case conversations right now. That didn't feel like a shark, but who knows? A weird little, like, dig, 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 dig. That's what she said. <sighs> Being very frustrated. We can all see that. Very frustrated. We've you're been not, at this all day. You're not excited that you're hanging it's out with Quinn? 5 o'clock this morning. We've been out here almost 12 hours. 10 right now. You're not Still excited? can't catch a shark. You're not excited to hang out with Quinn? Still can't catch a shark. Yeah, but better in my own house than it is in this sun. Eating, you mean in the beautiful boat? Even ate away on the sun right now. No, there's. we always talk about this. There's a certain time to be out here. We're past that time to be out here, especially at this time of the year. I have no problem being out here all day from sunrise to sunset, but like two months from now. Not right now. It's too hot. Humans are not made to be outside during this weather. You're too hot. <sighs> How much are we selling those uh, tied up t-shirts, shoulder wraps? We call those shoulder wraps. Like lettuce wraps you at like Pai Thai? Superhero short cape. Superhero <laughs> short cape? 
As long as it doesn't cover your booty, that's all we sizzle. care about, right guys? I'm the sizzle superhero. The sizzle. <laughs> the super sizzle. Super sizzle. Super, super sizzle can't sizzle. catch a fish. The only thing she's caught today is two lady fish and a jack. I know. Pretty lame. You're lame. We literally have been all up and down the intercoastal, setting up in like a dozen spots. Four dozen spots. With no luck. No, sp no luck. And now we just lost like oh and four on sharks. Literally. Just like not you can't hook them. Like not meant to happen. Like literally. And now that that's it. I don't know, man. The results speaking for themselves so far. So today we were sure we're gonna go offshore for mahi because it's been an east wind. So you again. If you want to go offshore fishing in Florida on Southeast the east coast, Florida. Southeast Florida, any coast of Florida, you want no, to east? Yes. Not the west. No, any any place on the east coast of Florida, from St. Augustine to Key West, or whatever to Miami, you want an east wind that blows the Gulf Stream closer to the shore. It blows all the bait closer to the shore, which of course brings all the fish that we like to eat closer to the shore. So it's been going. So you want to look for a couple of days east wind. And we've had that, and so we could have gone offshore today, but uh, it's always you know that's a little bit of a crapshoot. You know, always going offshore fishing, and we've Same done some mahi inshore. videos in the past. Same with inshore. Yeah, we thought we just thought this was a higher percentage of video. We today. thought we had a guaranteed video today. And bottom line is, we're reading reports of people coming in from offshore and they killed it. She's she's the queen of FOMO. You guys know what that is? FOMO, fear of missing out. So if you're inshore not catching any fish because you chose to go inshore and everybody offshore is catching fish yep then you missed out and yep. you have fear they're already back at the dock <laughs> that makes them one of us posting oh here we go is that dropped again what the heck you better catch me a fish just a little super sizzle let's go super sizzle we're using lady fresh lady fish's bait running running fresh bait's the best bait and we tackle down when we the only shark bite we got all day was on this 40 pound test. Remember you saw that first thing. And then we got no more bites. Dude, it's not happening. They're dropping it. The so we tackled down feel, to 100 They're dropping pound it the test. they feel the, the rod. So let them run. See, let them, when you do that, they cut us off. Well, you got, it's like well, a delicate balance. Well, you got, it's, not, it's too delicate. Yet, so you got to delicate down the other side. Like, you haven't got a bite off since this morning. So let's get some we more bite off. We lost two hooks here. Oh. Uh, you know, you're darned if you do, you're darned if you don't. These sharks are smaller, they look like two or three foot. Back on. Which again is delicious, but they don't swallow the baits fast. You know, they're not, they're not aggressive feeders. Not that easy to hook. I'll step by accident with it, you know. Come on, so we'll catch that fish. There's no drag. Yeah, exactly. listen, you better, I want that fish. I want them to take that bait for half an hour. Okay, we'll do that again. The last two fish I did that with, they cut me the second I pulled. Well, well, I don't know. Let's we gotta do, do something different. Let's do it. We gotta do something different. Let's do it. We'll what's, do it again. What's the definition you of insanity? What's the definition of insanity? You can't win. You De pull it too close, too fast. That's what she said. They don't get hooked. You what's the definition run of insanity? A vial, they swallow the hook and they cut you off. What's the definition of insanity? I don't know. Doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. I've been doing it all variations. Try and set the hook earlier so they don't cut me off. I've been letting them run for a mile and they cut me off. All right, guys. You seen the reel of Sizzle Offshore today? Get in here, Sizzle. Ugh. You know, we fish. I, should, I think we're going to post this video as an example. Because of what, uh, not just us, but all fishing channels go through and hunting channels. They get. Okay. <laughs> so they don't want to talk to me. Is that you know if you have a hunting and fishing channel, you hunt and fish a lot and you don't make a video. I know it's, everyone always says it's you know the day on day in the water is better than day at work, but that don't get me on a rant on that, that drives me crazy. It is it, it, <laughs> it, it really it is true. And then, right? and then at the same time when you're out here actually and it's your job, like it, it just I don't know, it really is true though. That is a true scene. So what are you gonna say about the rant? I'm, I'm just gonna say, you know, get, just just like anything else, they always tell you, you know, they tell charter captains not to become charter captains if they love fishing, because then you start hate fishing. And it's not that I hate fishing or hate being out here, but you know, you know, it's also our job, and so there's certain responsibilities that have to be taken care of. And then when you work, come out here and you go sword fishing for three days and you don't catch a fish, and you come out here today and you don't catch a shark, and so you know you have four or five days just right there, not just in the last two weeks, you know, not over the, over the last year that you're not productive. 
and and you don't get stuff posted up and you don't do work yeah you know you don't pay the bills and you don't do off your sponsors and everything else and, and again we're not trying to i'm not trying to sound like you know it's the greatest job in the world i guess but you know obviously it's hard work everything <laughs> yes hard I mean, we're just showing work. you the side that's all hard we're just showing work. you the whole picture that's there's all. a lot of factors that go into this a lot of factors it's not everybody's fault putting time in on the water out here is a big deal but like brian said like the last two weeks we literally fish six days with no content, no fish, nothing for you guys to see. And now you're actually seeing one of those days when we when, when it's slow. You don't see our slow days because we don't share those videos with you. They're boring. We have no, right, there's no fish. We don't have no fish, nothing. So you right. don't get to see those days. You only get to see the days we catch. So this just shows you the reality of it here. Like, we're real people and apparently we're the worst shark fishermen <laughs> in Boynton's history. <laughs> And tarpon fishermen, and snook fishermen, and everything else. Right, but I mean, but just think about how hard it is. Like Darcy, we've been doing two videos a week for years and years and years, and one video a week before that. And just, just imagine you had to go out and go fishing, and each week and create two videos, two, and you had two fishing trips that were video worthy with the kind of fish that you know Darcy's catching on a consistent basis. It's just super hard. Like I literally don't know anybody else who does that. And I we're not like straight bass fishermen by the way. Like we're going offshore catching mahi, wahoo, yeah, you chasing know. swordfish now. And then we come inshore and we catch snook and jacks and we do different things. Like we just don't strictly focus on one fish. We're constantly bumping around. And it's like he said, it makes it that much harder. Yeah, because like, if you know if you're a charter captain, you know, you can get some fish dialed in and you just go and you know and you have different people to come on your boat and you can catch the same fish every day. But you know, we can't do that. I can't make a mahi video every single day. Uh, you know, we could have done a mahi video today probably, but again, we, you know, we just did one a couple weeks ago and a couple weeks before that, and we love to catch them. So we do we do a lot of mahi videos because you guys love them too, but okay. can't do it every day. Okay, Brian just said you can't do it every day, but we, we just switch it up quite a bit. So go ahead and comment below. Would you like to see another mahi video two weeks after seeing one from us two weeks ago? I don't know. Comment I mean, they, below. Brian thinks like that's a big no-no, and I. Disagree. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it's fine if you you know if you have a different approach or different style or a different location, um, but you know it's not. But you know the bass guys have the same bass stuff all the time. They do bass every day, but you know, but then people start resorting to like silly tricks. You know, to like caught them on a barbie pole, catching fish with a uh, hot dog, catching fish in a sewer. You know, we don't. We just don't like to do that. We like to make sure Darcy's actually catching fish in, in a real video and, and showing you guys how to actually catch I guess fish. The only bonus good thing I caught today was a load of bait, which was freaking awesome. Right. So, but that's the other thing is the you know, you know the, the icing on the cake or the silver lining on the cloud is that you learn something new every day out here. And uh, you know that was we haven't caught that much bait in Boynton in quite a long time. Yeah, it was awesome. The conditions out here, are, the water clarity is really Perfect. good. Um, and people were catching a lot of tarpon, you know, in Lake, around Lake Worth and Palm Beach area lately. And uh, we didn't catch any today, but you know, it wasn't, wasn't our target. Uh, something you gotta get a little bit dialed in, but it's great that people are catching tarpon here. And uh, we did. I just thought we just thought that you know, tarpon, you know, you, you, you don't know if you're gonna catch a tarpon. You know, if, unless you're on them every single day, you don't know if you're gonna catch a tarpon that day. And so we had no. That was a low, a low probability fish for us today. So we didn't focus on it. And you focus on sharks, which is like a 90, which is. I don't think we've ever failed inshore shark fishing here before. Yeah. Not well, in years. Yeah. Well, anyways, if we're going on diatribe here, it sounds kind of boring. But it is boring. Yeah. Let's at least get the boat moving or something. something All right. We're going to wrap it up. Going on around we're going to wrap it. But uh, hopefully the next video you guys will see is going to be something pretty epic and way unique and different. I'm going to tell them what and it is. And please do not Why say not? it because you're going to jinx it. Oh, okay. Please do not say it. You're right. We are not jinxing this trip, this next trip, because I jinxed it this morning by saying I was going shark fishing and jinxed the trip. So it's not happening tomorrow. <laughs> Stay tuned for well, we've it. We've never done it before. Not First a time fish. ever. It's not a fish. Shh. First time ever. Go ahead, drop your comments and right. down below. Not a fish. First time ever. And that's it. Okay. All right. Love you, baby. <laughs> All right, guys. Sorry for the very boring video. Thank you, you a good for being in and watching this with us. Um, and anything you want to check out is going to be linked down below, uh, like the Amazon lures on Amazon, the lures and stuff like that we talked about. But uh, yeah, well, all the lures she has are, are on our Amazon store. Yeah, feel free, please check out her Dark Sizzle Offshore Shore, where she makes hand makes her own little jewelry yes. here. And uh, and these like T-shirts are available on my website too, so check those out too. It's not a T-shirt, but I mean long sleeve. You these T-shirts, yeah, we have T-shirts too. Yeah. Anyway, but all right, guys, we got to go. Get ready for tomorrow's new adventure. So. Oh, and we, got, and we have to do a live stream tonight with Patreon. Right. Anyway. We gotta go. We gotta go. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Until our next very exciting adventure. Follow your, your dreams. dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching.
Mwah. Love you. Love you, baby. Sorry, it's not. I'm sorry we didn't catch a fish today. Well, actually, you're tapping, so you suck. <laughs> That's true. You suck. I drove the boat today. You suck. I do.